professors Bob Slonim and Ellen Garbarino from the University of Sydney are researching 2D, 4D ratio. To measure the 2D, 4D, you take the ratio of this finger to this finger, the second finger to the fourth finger. And as you can see on my ratio, if anything, this finger is slightly uh, shorter than my first finger. And basically, in women, that's very common. That's a fairly typical ratio. Bob, on the other hand, shows the more typical male ratio, in which his second finger is shorter than his fourth finger. Uh, an extreme version of this, this ratio will be about the same height as the middle finger is. So in gentlemen, you often find this. In ladies, you almost never do. Exposure to testosterone in the womb boosts the length of the ring finger in relation to the second or index finger. A decade of research has linked testosterone exposure and 2D, 4D ratio to sexual orientation. The obvious prediction is that homosexual men will have digit ratios more like women do and that homosexual women will have digit ratios more like men. Jace Pearson is a professional drag queen is his ratio that of a typical male or female? The ratio was identically one, which is very much on the distribution, which looks like even, even in, in the female distribution, it's even fairly, most women, even most one. women don't have that small, uh, that, <laughs> that high, high ratio. Jace has a ratio more like that of a female. I'm not surprised at all that my 2D, 4D ratio is quite female. Hello. <laughs> 2D, 4D, with its implication that gender preference is determined in utero, remains highly disputed.